let us look at next table in this table number of students appeared and percentage of students qualified from colleges p q and r from 2010-11 to 2014-15 is given so there are three colleges p q and r from 2010-11 to 14-15 each year number of students appeared and number of students qualified this information is given now friends if you can look at the table in certain places there is a blank there is a dash look at the note given friends this is very important a few values are missing from the table indicated by dash or hyphen a candidate is expected to calculate the missing values if it is required to answer the given question on the basis of the given information so according to the information given in the question candidate has to find out the missing value if it is required to get the answer yes friends let us start with first question in 2012 13 of the total students who qualified from p the ratio of number of male students to that of female students is 19 is to 15 if the number of female students who qualified from college p is 240 then what is the total number of students who appeared for the exam from p yes friends what is the information given in the year 2012 13 he is talking about company p right 2012 13 for company p the ratio of males and females is given that is 19 is to 15 then the number of female students who qualified from college p is 240 right number of female students who qualified is 240 now if you can see here the ratio of male students and female students who qualified is 19 is to 15 so number of female students is given as 240 number of female students who qualified is 15 parts so 15 parts is given as 240 total number of students qualified that is 34 parts how much so cross multiplication we get total number of students qualified as 544 now as we can see from the table friends in 2012 13 how many students qualified what percentage of students qualified friends 64% of the students qualified so what are the number of students who qualified 544 this is total qualified so i can say 64% is equal to 544 what is the question friends how many students appeared for the exam number of students appeared will be always 100% so 64% 544 100% how much on solving this cross multiplication 100 into 544 by 64 on solving this we get 850 friends so it is present in option number 3 next question the number of candidates who appeared from r increased by 25% from 2010-11 to 2011-12 if the total number of students who qualified in the exam from r in 2010-11 and 11-12 is 806 then how many students appeared for the exam from r in 2011 12 yes friends what is given in the question the number of students who qualified from r in these two years 2010 11 11 12 together is 806 and the number of students who appeared for the exam from 2010 11 to 11 12 has increased by 25% now friends look at the table 2010 11 if you can look at r number of students appeared is not given and how many stood what is the percentage of students qualified 55% 2011 12 number of students appeared again there is a dash the value is not given and percentage of students qualified is 60% now there is a relationship that is given here 2010 11 2011 12 these are the two years asked in the question 
for company R. Number of students appeared increased by 25 percent. We can take x, then we can also take 25 percent increase is 1.25x. But it is always better as the question the percentage values are given, let us assume number of students appeared in 2010-11 as 100 instead of x. Now 25 percent increase, so number of students appeared will be 125 in 2011-12. Now friends, look at the table, how many students qualified in 2010-11? 55 percent. What is 55 percent of 100? 55. Then friends, how many, what percentage of students qualified in 2011-12? Look at the table, 60 percent. What is 60 percent of 125? 10 percent, 12.5. 60% means 12.5 into 6, that is nothing but 75. Yes friends, what is the total number of students qualified? 55 plus 75, total number of students qualified is 130. Right, according to the question, what is the actual number of students qualified friends? 806. So this 130 is given as 806. Now what is the question friends? Find the number of students appeared in 2011-12. 2011-12, what is the value we have? 125. 125 is how much? Yes, friends, class multiply and simplify, you will get 775 and it is present in your first option. Next question. What is the difference between number of students who qualified from P in 2013-14 and number of students who qualified from Q in 2012-13. Yes friends, let us find out number of students qualified from P in 2013-14. How many st students appeared friends? 2013-14 P 860 students appeared. How many students qualified friends? 65 percent. Let us calculate 65 percent. 65 percent can be written as 60 percent plus 5 percent. So 10% 86, 60% 86 into 6, that is 516 plus 5%, that is half of 10%. 10% 86, half of that 43. So 65% is nothing but 559. This is the number of students who qualified from P. Now let us look at number of students who qualified from Q. Q he is asking in the year 2012-13 from Q. How many students appeared friends? From the table we can see 2012-13 Q number of students appeared is 680. Sorry number of students appeared is 720. Then number of students qualified is 60 percent. So how much is 60 percent friends? That is 10 percent 72 into 6 times. So 420 plus 12 it is 432. Now question is what is the difference between number of students qualified from P and number of students qualified from Q. That is 559 minus 432 the difference is 127. It is present in option 4. Let us look at next question. If the average number of students who qualified from three colleges in 2012-13 is 486, then how many students appeared for the exam from P in 2012-13? Yes, friends, let us look at the table. 2012-13, let us take P. Number of students appeared, number of students qualified. As we can see from the table, 2012-13, college P, we don't know number of students appeared, but qualified is 64 percent. Let us take Q, friends. Number of students appeared is 720 and number of students qualified is 60 percent. Let us take R. Number of students appeared 840 and number of students qualified is 65 percent. Yes, friends, what is given? The average number of students qualified from all the three colleges. How will we calculate average, friends? 
sum of all the three qualified in the three colleges divided by number of quantities that is three colleges. Now let us see here 2012-13 if you can see here P we don't know number of students appeared here. Let us take number of students appeared is 100x. We can take x also but if we take x 100x our calculations will be easy. So 64% qualified that is 64x plus 60% of 720 that is 432 qualified here plus 65% of 840. How will you calculate friends? 65% 60% plus 5% right 10% 84 so 60% 84 into 6 that is 480 plus 24 504 10% 84 5 percentage will be half 42 so it is 546 65% so 65% of 840 number of students qualified 546 average is divided by number of quantities 3 is equal to the average value is given as 486 yes friends on solving this we get 64x plus add these to 978 is equal to 486 into 3 that is nothing but 1458 yes friends if you solve this you will get 64x is equal to 480 or I will get x is equal to 7.5 what is the question friends how many students appeared for the exam from P in 2012-13 in 2012-13, how many students appeared friends? We have taken it as 100x. So, x value is 7.5. So, 100 into 7.5, that is nothing but number of students appeared is 750. Next question. If the ratio of number of students who qualified from Q in 2013-14, 2013-14-15 is 40 is to 39, then how many students appeared for the exam from Q in 2013-14. Yes, friends, let us look at the table 2013-14 and 2014-15. There are two years. The question is about Q. Number of students appeared in 2013-14 is not given. Then number of students qualified is given as 64%. 2014-15 number of students appeared from Q is 780 and number of students or percentage of students qualified is 60 percent. Now number of students appeared in 2013-14 let us take it as X. Now friends he has given the ratio of qualified students in 13-14 and 14-15 is 40 is to 39. So number of students qualified here 64 into x by number of students qualified here 60 into 780 is equal to 40 by 39. This is the ratio given. So friends 64 percent into x 60 percent into 780 percentage percentage will anyways get cancelled. So directly we can write 64 into x by qualified is 60 into 780 is equal to 40 by 39. 39 goes 20 times here. Then 8864, 8, 8 fives 40. Then again, friends, 4 twos, 4 fives, 2 goes 30 times. So x is equal to 30 into 5, 150. One more 5 is there, 150 into 5, 750. So number of students quality appeared in 2013-14 is X. That is nothing but 750. It is present in your option 1.